right, so I got a question for you guys because I got a strange call last week um, from a friend that wanted me to do her friend a favor. And the favor was to give her some advice on her daughter. Her daughter works in PR, and I don't even know this woman, but because it was a friend of mine that was suggesting, I said, sure, I'll hear her out. And what it really comes down to, and I'll get into some of the details. I don't want to give them all away. So her daughter is in PR, uh, and she works for a really conservative company. And she's about, I don't know, 24, 25 years old. And she wants to start living her life authentically. And she hasn't been doing that um, with her relationships. She is gay. And she doesn't want to have to hide that anymore. She wants to go out on dates, doesn't want to have to have her head on a swivel. She wants to live her life authentically. And the real question that she had for me, because I don't even know this family, and I guess she was reaching out to me because, you know, there's a PR aspect of doing radio or what have you, was should she tell her boss before she, like, starts posting online with other women and sort of socially um, sharing her relationship. Do you have to go to your boss? And I had her play it out, and she said the only reason why I'm wondering is because she's sort of the spokesperson for this company. So anytime they hold a press conference, she's the one answering questions. She's the ambassador between the company and news. So she does have a very public position. So does she have an obligation to tell, and again, it's a very conservative company with a very conservative audience. So does she have an obligation to say, hey, look, boss, uh, this is what I'm going to be posting online. Um, I feel like I need to give you a heads up. Or does she go and live her life and it's none of work's business? And my knee-jerk reaction, and again, radio is really not the real world. <laughs> um, we don't play really. We, It's just a very different world than the real world, the one that she works in. And my thought, my initial thought was, well, you wouldn't call the boss up and say, hey, uh, I'm straight. So why do you <laughs> I'm going to come out as straight. Yeah, yeah. why do you got to call him <laughs> up? Instagram, is that okay? And say, hey, I'm gay. <laughs> like, is it even his business? So my advice was, look, I really am not schooled enough in your area to know this, but... um. I don't. I don't really. I, I don't know the advice to give here. Uh, I would never expect anybody to come to me first and say, "Hey, just want to let you know that I'm gay," and you're going to see that online. <laughs> that would just not be a conversation I would expect. I mean, I know our lines get blurred between personal and business because we share so much of our personal life on air. However, in this instance, um, in, in, and bottom line for I think any company, it's it's not it's none of their business. That's your personal life. And what you choose to do in your personal life is what you choose to do in your personal life. And she should be able to live her life authentically. Well, and and I, it is in all sincerity. It's none of the boss's business. one 855 And I totally understand. And I actually agree with that. But I think their point was their concern was that this is such a conservative company. And she's a spokesperson for this conservative company with a very conservative clientele that her quote unquote lifestyle, although I hate saying that word for some reason. Um, her life. Her life. Mm-hmm. It's her life, not her lifestyle, it's her life. Her life um, will not stay in the same brand that the company has. I wouldn't want to work for that company. Right. Yeah. Dobby? That's what I was going to say. Like, worst case scenario. Uh, she says to her boss, like, hey, is it cool that I live my life openly and honestly on Instagram? And he says, no, you wouldn't want to work there anymore. You're going to have to quit. And you guys always say it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Who would there would have to be such a astronomical level of audacity for her boss to look at her Instagram and her to be comfortably with her wife or partner and to go, hey, that's not cool here. Like, I just don't I don't think asking for permission is the way to go because you're going to get an answer that you don't like and you're not going to want to work there anymore. Here is Adrian. Good morning. You're part of the Burt Show. What's up? Um, I say absolutely not. It's none of their business. Could you imagine the audacity of them coming to her after? Like, what What can they possibly say? You can't, right? I don't think legally yeah. you can, Mo. We can't hear you, Mo. Mo Mo's not. Mike's not on. Oh, not working. Here's David. Good morning. You're part of the Burt Show. Hi. 
Hey, hey, folks, I love you after you guys, but here's what I want to say. Absolutely, I agree with you. She should not tell the boss because it's not from the fact that it's none of their business. If she tells them something and gives them permission, it gives them time to get the, to gather up quote unquote evidence of poor performance and then get mm-hmm. her fired, mm-hmm. you know, legally. Mm-hmm. Thank you for calling. And Ryan says, I don't know, conservative company. Maybe this is not part of their brand. Hey, Ryan. Hey, how you doing today? All right, hey, thank uh, you. I just think that you guys might be being a little hypocritical. I, I'm a conservative. I know a lot of people who work for conservative companies and have no problem with somebody being gay. So you might be taking this a little too far that it's the wrong thing that that she's gay and she didn't need to tell her company. Yeah, this was her concern. This is not our concern. Um, she's working. I, I know. I, I, I get that. So I, uh, I think she could tell him. I, I would tell my boss. <clears throat> I would want him to know rather than be blindsided. Appreciate you calling. The Bird Show.